Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm doing a tutorial that a lot of people have asked me to do for a while now, and that is uh, Modern Warfare Akimbos or any any game made by Infinity Ward. They all do their Akimbos the same to how to point them to Black Ops 3. Uh, they do it very differently. It's a very weird way, and I'll explain it along the way. Uh, and also, I still could not find a good recording software that lasts for over 10 minutes, so this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting experience trying to get through this. And sorry if you hear my mom in the background. So the first thing I always do is I have my folder, so I always have my mapping folder, Black Ops 3 weapons, and just like put a directory for my gun. So here's my new folder, and do do everything in here. Uh, so the first thing, I recommend doing this, you don't have to though. First thing you need is your remodel that you get from Lime, World Model, and then TNMs, and then maybe you're not using TNMs. If you, if Wraith 4 is out already and you can get uh, CNMs from there, I'd recommending, recommend use, using those instead of TNMs. Then you have those of course, but yeah, so let's get started. So the first little... Well, 10 minutes I'll spend setting stuff up. So the first thing I do is always open my P90. And I'm going to make a scene that is just the P90 with no attachments and that's already binded. Now if you know Modern Warfare 2 guns come with all the attachments on them. And then Modern Warfare 3 guns come with a bunch of joints to reference where the separate attachment models go and same with ghosts so i just get to get rid of all the unnecessary unanimated stuff uh <clears throat> and yeah this stuff might be really slow because i haven't turned it on in a while so shit well take your time bro i think the recording's gonna make it like this so bear with me guys. Okay, so bind file. Uh, maybe you have C models like Wraith 4, I know we'll have C models. Um, which are like pre-binded format that you would import using C tools right here. Uh, but let's see. So what I always do is I click like all these joints: EOTech, Red Dot, Silencer, Thermal Scope. I'm all out here. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's it. Then you select J Gun, press Control H. And then select all these, press delete, and then re-show them, and you can just select them all again, press delete, so there, uh, that should be it, then you can go to your hypershade thing, let's see, edit, delete, unused nodes, and then, right, or er, middle mouse click, transparency, it makes it full, and there's weird textures in here. Uh, and just show them all, I guess. So we just have the P90 here. Uh, yeah, leave leave this as J gun. Um, so I I like to call it P90 animated model. Now what we're going to do is open a pair of view hands from a previous game, so not Black Ops 3, but like a pair of Black Ops 1 or 2 hands would do, like this. I'll have these in the description actually, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's see, drag the animated model on that we just made. Delete your perspective. So you'll see you most likely have all these namespaces. You're going to want to just get rid of them all. So we just have the joint names. Uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and save this. Uh, here. 
call it like animation base. Uh, also, I don't think, yeah, I still haven't changed my focal length. I'll update that in the description. Or in the one that's in the description. And then drag this under tag weapon, set these to zero. Uh, delete your group here. Now this tag weapon here, probably can delete. And then select tag torso, press control D. Uh, and then everything underneath you can delete actually. I don't think I just broke anything, did I? Hold on. These didn't, yeah, okay, yeah, that's good. I just delete all those. So you should have two tag torsos. You shouldn't do anything. Arm should still work fine. Yep, yeah. okay, and then uh, now that we have our, we'll call it like tag torso new. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and save. And we'll start dragging animation down. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the course. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start loading animations. So in here, I like to make a new folder called Anim Scenes. This is where I save all the scenes with each animation in it so that I have, you know, I can easily re export if I ever need to. And I make a new folder called Xanim Exports. And this is where I put all my Xanim exports, you know, when I export. So make sure you save it. Uh, so again, we should have our gun under tag weapon here. And then a new tag torso in the same place as this. But just there for now. Uh, and so yeah, what we're going to do is go to our TMs or whatever you're using. Uh, so now a number of these in here. So Infinity Ward likes to split up each of these animations into left and right. Now Treyarch does that for some of them, but not exactly all of them. So <clears throat> what I'm going to... I'll tell you which one. So Fire, Idle... Reloads. Those are all what we're going to keep split it, split up. And our sprints and pullouts and put away and first raise. We're going to keep those, or we're going to combine those. So I'm going to do the the ones that are already split up first. So that, you know, because they're easier and simpler. And I'll do the other ones later. And the combined ones after. So uh, first we're going to drag, I'll do the right one first because it's easiest and simplest to work with. So here we have some weird stuff. If you go to first person, you just see our right gun here shooting. Now this left arm is derped off. So the, this is how basically they do their animations. They play the, um, uh, they have two sets of view arms on your screen at once. And the right animation will animate this arm, of course, and put the gun into it. And then the left animation on the other view hands will animate its left arm and put its gun into it. And the excess arms are animated off like this. So that's how they do it. And it sounds really stupid, I know. Basically, since they use tag ADS as their base, this tag torso is like all the way to the side. So what we're going to be doing is making uh, the right shoulder and weapon fall under this tag torso. And this left shoulder here. Uh, we don't need it, so what, you can't delete it because it will fuck the shit out of this arm. Like, it won't break it. But, um, what you can do is middle mouse click it, drag it out onto the scene. So it's just doing nothing. I know it moved, but just leave it alone. Um, you can move it off if you want, but anyways. So here's our gun. We can go ahead and file a save scene as, uh, anim scenes, call it fire right yeah that's, that's what we're doing okay so from here there's two ways we can fix the thing so usually the arms if you look at the translates here usually they're animated into one place in the very beginning and then not touched if they're light pink means it's following a previous keyframe and dark red means it's actually saved there 
So the easiest, these are actually really easy to do because all you have to do is from here drag it into this new one and then press S to save its new offsets for the first frame. And since it's no longer touched in any of the other frames, you see it just stays there. Now the weapon is constantly moving usually, which is a harder part. Uh, we're going to have to use graph editor, that's the easiest way, so this is how I do it. I like to open a new notepad. Uh, so we're going to calculate the offsets between this X and that X. And, you know, each each translate. So it's it, here, we'll get our calculator. It starts at uh, 6.685 and ends in here. So actually, so uh, this minus this should equal that. And that's how far it needs to move back. So that means a negative would do. And so they're you, sometimes they're different for the left and right. So we'll say this is right offset. They usually are common for all the animations. So we'll call this x. Uh, and then minus equals. And I'll show you why I need to do that later. Oh, shit, why, why can't I select my calculator? Okay, so there's x, y, and then z. Make it as neat as we can. Y apparently moves, you know, out to the side, right? So we need to pull it. Yeah, we need to move it out to the side. So, um, it probably would just be minus that, which is weird because it's two of them. And then Z, that, wow, it's not even different. So I know it's a bit complicated so far, but you'll get the hang of it. Just calculate all these offsets and we can make sure they're right later. So now what you do is drag it in here. And then if you move it, you'll see, since this is in a different place, it's kind of weird. So select it, go to Windows, Animation Editors, and then Graph Editor. So translate X. You can go ahead and watch it up here. Uh, let's put it over here. So translate X for your tag weapon. Scroll up. You'll see they're all up here. So select them all. And then now select minus equals and then the offset you calculated. And then put it in. It should move them all at once. Ah, we did it wrong, see? So it's uh, apparently the other way. So if you find out you did it the wrong way, you know, negate it to be positive. So select them all again, plus equals, and that looked like the right direction. Okay, now we, we need to do the Y. So select all of them, see if it's minus. It is, good, good. So Z is such a small offset, we need to make sure we actually get it right. Uh, I don't think it would matter if we did it wrong, but if it starts lower and moves up, we obviously need to bring it back down, so it should be minus. So again, one more time, select it, or into our thing here, do minus. It shouldn't move a lot, but it does, you know, add perfection. So that's pretty much how you fix our, your animations. And once you've done that, you can delete our original tag torso and call this a uh, new tag torso and save. So now the way we're going to get uh, this fixed animation onto the Black Ops 3 conversion rig is by making C anims out of them. So luckily C tools lets us export C anims and then we can import them onto the conversion rig later. Now before we'd have to probably copy and paste each uh, joint's timeline into the conversion rig joints, but luckily we can easily do this. So here uh, it's actually really easy. So we can make a new folder called 
C anims, and then we'll call it like conversion rig so we know that it's for the conversion rig and not just plain C anims. So it's ones that we made. And then go ahead and click C tools and click clean namespaces to make sure you don't have any. Maybe you probably already don't. But make sure your unused arm isn't within like tag view here. So it's just out on the side. And do select hierarchy. And then export selected. And then do C items. And then call it whatever. So like fire right. And that's it. So we'll just do that for each animation. So let's go back to our. Uh, animation base here so now we have our fire right done so let's do fire left so this is how it manages to use the same gun model it just loads them uh it uses the same rigs because it uses two different view hands so that's how it differentiates so we can call this fire left oh one more thing you want to do with this notepad is make sure you save how many uh, frames are in an animation so like in our fire right here it says six right but tnms make an extra frame on the timeline so really there's only five so write that down because sometimes the cnms they copy all the frame, frame uh, the key frames and stuff right but sometimes not the timeline so just make sure you take note of this because sometimes you have to fix it when we get in there. So here's our fire left. Uh, so open this up again. We're going to be doing the same thing, but this time, first of all, it's our right arm that's unused. Second of all, these are left hand joints. Uh, this tag weapon is going to be our left hand joint tag weapon, so we have to put a 1 after all the joints. Like that. Now our shoulder. If it's again only the first frames edited, we can go ahead and drag it in and press S. If it has multiple, you know, places edited, then you would just graph editor it like the other time. And then our weapon here, you can drag it in. We'll have to use graph editor on it. You see, it's kind of out of place again. Um, now the tag torso here is in a different place than the old one, so we're gonna have to make Call like this left offset x y z and for the most part looks the same actually. So I know this is the same except we're gonna do plus because it's the other way. This should be the same and then that actually looks like the same number, so this should be right. So now if you want, you can save this just to be safe. Uh, so I'm going to put it, oh yeah, offsets. And then also I hate when I have unused shit here. Okay, that, that, that was retarded. What did I just do? I just said remove. Anyways, so um, now it should be pretty easy. You can go ahead and watch over it though. Uh, Windows, Animation Graph Editor, so the X here. Uh, just do our X, Oops. Y here, do our Y, Z here, our Z. And it looks right. So again, delete our old tag torso. And rename that to this tag torso. Uh, and that should be it. Then we can go ahead and select, er, clean namespaces. And then tag view, select hierarchy. Uh, C tools, export selected. And C items, fire left. So if you get the gist here, we're just going to continuously do this. 
Uh, save changes, yes. So we can do our idols now. So first, first raise, that's a combined one. So, uh, yeah, idol left is fine. Mm, this should be easy to walk through now. So our right shoulder is unused. Our left shoulder doesn't move, it looks like. So we can just go ahead and drag it in. Press S, tag weapon. It doesn't move either. So we can actually drag it in, press S. So now, it should be fine. So delete. That was pretty easy, right? Uh, and also, don't forget to do these add a one to all the left guns animations uh, clean namespaces select hierarchy and then C tools export selected CNMs idle left Idle right should just or be just as easy. So left shoulder unused. Right arm here. Does it move? Shouldn't right. Yeah. Does it move? The gun here. Does it move? That should be good. Delete tag torso, rename this. Uh, don't need to rename it because it's already a right uh, joints. So clean namespaces, select hierarchy, board selected, idle right. So, yeah. Oops, I think I, over, I saved this over. Shit. I went ahead and made a backup. I made an animation base again and made it back up somewhere else just in case I do this again. So yeah, I've done it before. Just make sure you don't accidentally save over when you, you know, drag the animation on. Anyway, so back to what we're doing. So we did idols. These are combined, so I'll do this next. Reload empty. So here the shoulder might actually move. So first of all, again, right unused. Add all our little ones. Okay, and then grab our notepad because we're most likely likely gonna need it a lot here. Wow, the shoulder doesn't move. For some reason I remember it did, but it's not. Save. And then tag weapon here. This is a left one, so why you see how craft editor really is handy when you have a lot of these knots. To make sure the finger is always aligned with the trigger. You know, just to make sure you got the position right. Also, make sure your tag torso doesn't move. Because if it does, there's another way you're going to have to fix these. Which I'll go over um, later. There, there is an animation in here where that, that's an example. But I know that it hasn't for these. So, yeah. So, again, same thing. Uh, before I forget, save scene as, anim scenes, reload Empty, right? Yeah. Uh, left. Clean namespaces. Select hierarchy. Export selected. And reload. Empty. Left. And then the right.
So trust me, not all the time is it this easy to go through each one. Uh, and like I said, I've, I, I know these P90 animations are going to be some interesting ones later on when we get to the sprints. So you'll get to see the whole spectrum of fixing, luckily. Again, make sure your fingers align with the trigger the whole way, which it really should be. And delete tag torso. So again, make sure it doesn't move. And then uh, clean dance faces, hierarchy, sport selected, reload, empty, right. Here we go, left. So the tag torso, you can see it doesn't move here. Yep, it doesn't move. So that again. And this I know it does. So graph editor again. This is the left one, so we'll use our left offsets. It's actually the same, isn't it? And you, of course, always can go into first person, make sure you're doing this stuff right. I forgot to fix my focal length. Wow. Huh. Uh, one more time, clean namespaces, select hierarchy, port selected, reload left. Like I guess I'm not fix this in my the one in the description. Okay, and what? You go to right. Right torso doesn't move. And this arm doesn't move. And then tag weapon down here. Graph editor it into place. Oh no, wait, this is this is right, yeah. Clean namespaces. Oh crap, I haven't been, um, shit, okay. Select hierarchy, port selected. Reload, right. So yeah, I forgot to keep saying, remember to say these, reload, right, 93 frames. And then let's go to the left. Same thing. 93, right? Yeah. So remember, there's TMs create an extra frame on the timeline, so just make sure you're aware of that. Uh, so 
Can you just do one less? This is 109 frames. Left is probably the same. Yeah. 109. Then idle. 200. Two hundred, and that should be it, right? We only got the fires. So now on to combined animations. So combined animations are a bit weird, so bear with me. So I'll do the first race first. So first, drag on your left one. Okay, then don't touch anything. Just do file save scene as do like left first raise for example and then go ahead and automatically open up your anim animation base shit stuttered drag your right one on and now drag the entire left first raise scene on and then once you've done that you can delete it then go here and we can file save scene as and then call it first raise now you see it looks cluttered, but it's a prime example of how they do it. You have the two arms, and the two guns, and then the unused arms. And so it actually looks right here, and we have these unused cameras. So yeah, that's how they play their animations. It's kind of weird, I know, but it's a good example right there. So do exact, exactly as I do now, because it can get a bit complicated. So up here in our right animation, we have our left unused arm. So drag that here. And then call this tag torso right. Call this just tag torso. And here, down in our left stuff, we have our unused right arm. You can bring that up here. Call this tag torso left. Uh, you can remove this namespace because, you know, it makes it look neater. And then these joints need a 1 after all of them. And also might as well remove namespaces. So, this is kind of annoying, I know. Shit, let me do that. No. But it's important that you do all of these. Make sure you don't mess up the spelling on some of these. Uh, and now once you do that, drag it up here. You can close this permanently. So now we have our stuff. Probably want to save that. So now, just once again, make sure your tag torsos are in the same place they usually are. Because if they're not, you realize you have to make new offsets. You know, just so you know. Okay, then... We can start fixing it like normal, so we'll do the right one first, so arm doesn't move. You always want to do one at a time, so you can look at the finger to trigger relationship. And then left doesn't move, so again, bang, it's done. And then tag weapon, we'll graph editor to place, so this is the right one. All these. And I'll make sure it's following correctly, which it is. And the left one here. Drag it in. Make sure it's following correctly. And it is. And we can also check in here. If they follow nice and tight. Which they do. 
And so now, you can delete these two. And this is our whole, like, full hierarchy. The two arms and guns that are animated. So, go ahead and do first graze. 30, 34 frames. And save it. Now, making a T or C item out of this is actually quite interesting. We have to delete all the excess joints because they're duplicate names and that breaks the CNMs. Um, so you want to save it. We're not going to save it again, so save it now, which I just did. Oh, shit. Just to make sure you can press, yeah, no changes. You, you can always adjust the camera to make sure. Okay, so these here, extra joints, right? This is meshes. Here's the joints we need. This is meshes. Meshes, uh, joints, right? Yeah, the joints, meshes. And then you can do so. Well, you don't need to do so. Apparently, go ahead though. And just actually, no, just those three. Delete. And so you'll see, you know, this happened, right? But the main joints, they still work, so that's all we need. Then You'll know we have namespaces in here. Now you can clean namespaces because we don't have the duplicate named ones. They should all look like normal. And now we can select tag view, export, first freeze. So I know that looks weird and that's why we're not saving it. Nope. So we'll just go ahead and do that for all the um, different uh, combined ones. So we did that. Now pull out. It's the same thing. Left one. Uh, left pull out. So also make sure that you have the same amount of frames. So if you didn't have like the same amount of frames, let's say you needed. The right one had 30 and this one had 26 or 25. Well, you, I recommend scaling the smaller one up to the bigger one. So to do that, let's say we need 30, right? So we would set the timeline to 30. Well, no, actually, no, no we wouldn't. Set it 26. Keep it at 20. No, set it 25. And you're going to select hierarchy, all the joints. And select these. Okay, then, then you're going to set it to 30. And then just bring it up to 30, like, shit, why can't I move another one? Uh, one. Like that, and then you can go out and go back to 30. Then it would, you know, move over the course of 30 frames, and then you could drag it onto the other 30 frame animation, you know, so that's how you, how you, I would recommend scaling the smaller one up instead of the other way, but, you know, we obviously don't, I don't think the P90 needs any of that. Drag that on, and then drag our left pull out again, your left one, delete it, and then call it pull out. Just to make sure I didn't break it. Nope. And then, of course, this again. Pull out 25. Uh, delete our unused cameras and we'll repeat the process. So we have our tag torso. We'll call it tag torso right. Call this one tag torso. Uh, left arm out. And then down here we have our Tag torso left, and you can just repeat up. <clears throat> Unused right arm, and then tag weapon one, J gun one, J bolt one, and then the ones that are harder to spell, I just kind of do this. Last thing you want is a misspelled one. Because then the animation won't load on it. So 
so there's all our things just like before so can make sure your tag torsos don't move and again I will have an example and make sure they're in the same place as always so again right I like how these shoulders just don't want to move it makes it a lot easier left yeah then these we know we have to do graph editor so you can just delete them or move them in I mean so right X Y Z X Actually the same movie Z Again just make sure the finger and trigger follow Say do and delete it and do the same thing to export so we'll save here delete all these unneeded joints which breaks everything clean namespaces which clean up this arm and you select hierarchy export selected and then pull out pull out game don't save. And then put away. Probably next. Yeah. So again, make sure you keep them so it's 23 frames. And you can make sure it's 23 frames. Delete. Pull it away. And this is put away equals 23 frames. Uh, delete the cameras. Same crap. Tag torso from here. So unused left arm, unused right arm, and then tag weapon one, J gun one, J bolt one, J front one. Shit, J reload button one, tag brass one, tag clip one, tag flash one, then tag iron sight one. Does it move? Does it move? And they're in the same place. Okay. Pretty sure again these are going to be. An easy fix, so S S and these two again and what right one yeah. So now we have left one follows and the right one follows. You can always check. Get rid of these. Save here. 
So delete our unneeded joints again. Clean namespaces. Select hierarchy. Put selected. Put array. So now we have our interesting ones, which are sprints because the tag torsos do move, if I remember correctly. So let's see, sprint left, 10 frames. Sprint in. <coughs> Good. So drag in, delete. And save as sprint in. So delete our cameras here. Uh, so we'll do the same thing first. And then I'll explain why this these are gonna be different. And for some guns it may be like this on all the animations and other guns it may be like this where it's only sprints because this is where they commonly do it uh, infinity or it being retarded and all and then some guns this doesn't happen at all so you just have a nice easy ride of fixing but here i think only happens to the right gun and the left gun is like how we've had so I guess that's good, but we'll see. So here in our stuff like normal, go ahead and save here. So now we have our tag torso right and left. Now left. It's in the same place as usual, doesn't move, you know. And let's actually go ahead and fix this. Now, the left shoulder here actually does move, so we have to graph editor it like we normally we do the guns we have been. So it's just the same thing. Open the graph editor, take our left X, bam. Our left Y should be the same, so again, bam. And then left Z. So just now we can check, see it's lining up. So do the same thing for here. So I have the Z here. Move. And uh, Y. The X. So it's following nice and good. So we can go ahead and delete it. And save. Now we have, and you know, that was easy like it usually is now. Thing is, we have this left or this right one, the tag torso is actually moving. If you look up here, it moves all the way out to the side, like over here. And so we can't use graph editor because it's not coming from a consistent point. So you have to do the weirdest shit you'll have ever seen. So the first thing is, this might. Actually, this is going to be weird. So, first thing you want to do is Control S, continue. Uh, open your sprint in scene because we're going to need stuff from this save scene that we're going to lose. Here's our scene. So we're going to work here. So basically we have to go through each frame, saving each offset. So we can start by dragging it in S, then drag it back up and go to the next frame. So pay attention to when these translates are hot or red like this. So keep doing it, drag it down, press S, drag it back up and next frame. Drag, every time it's dark red, you can just save it because it's at its proper offset.
So when it's light pink, that means it's transitioning between like unsaved keys. So it smooths between, but since we're using different offsets here, it's not going to be the same. Now, we could skip to the next frame, but the thing is, since the joint above it is moving too, we can't predict that it's going to be moving in the same linear path. So we just need to basically save this frame too. So the way to do that is we need to enter the right offsets or the original ones here. So go to frame 4 and look at our right shoulder. Then copy these offsets into the thing. So it should look right. And then now drag it in, press S, back up. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, but it works. And so it happens here again. So, copy these in. Drag in, save, drag out. Next frame, again, save, drag out. Next frame, again, save, drag out. Next frame, drag in, save, drag out. Next frame, drag in, save, and that's it. So I need to make sure I yeah, didn't do that. Sprint ends 10. So make sure that your gun follows correctly in each frame. And yeah, so that's how you fix it when it's kind of weird like that. Uh, let's just make it look neater. <clears throat> so same thing with weapon. Save. 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 So here's a hole where there's not going to be save frame. So go to frame 5 and tag weapon. Let me make sure because I need to double check the Z. Save. <clears throat> Save. 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 Oops. Save. I can just move it up here because I'm used to seeing. <clears throat> and then. Make sure it's following too. And it is. So you can now delete that. Save this scene. And don't save that. So, first person should be moving right. So, yeah, I know that was weird, but that's what you gotta do. So, then after that, we can of course export it like normal. So, save. Delete our joints, clean namespaces, select hierarchy, export selected, sprint in, file open, don't save. So usually when they do that with sprint in, uh, their sprint loop usually doesn't have it moving. So you'll see, hold on, let me just go ahead and set it up. Oops. Left print loop. And it's 30 frames. I don't think sprints typically have different amounts of frames. In fact, usually there's never different amounts of frames. So, I know the P90s never did. A lot of the guns I've done never have uh, had different amounts of frames, so that's good. But sprint loop. 
sequence your plays. Okay, then call it sprint. Wow, sprint loop at 30. Okay, so now let's set this up like normal. Get rid of our unused arm. Bring our left tech torso up here. Get rid of its unused arm. Uh, tag weapon one. J gun one. We don't want not two. So here we are. So our left one, since it didn't move, usually it's still in the same place, not moving. So we can fix it up. But this one, now you see the timeline, it's not moving, but it's in a different place now. So we're going to have to readjust our offsets, fortunately. Uh, but only for this animation. So sometimes they do have it in a different place. But if our right one doesn't move, which it most likely does, this one though, yeah, it's in the same place. Oh, we can go ahead and move it in. Now, there's different offsets here, so we're gonna have to calculate them for uh, real quick. So I'll just call it like sprint loop right, and then x y z. I'll go ahead and figure them out. I think these are actually in the right place. So we don't need to touch X. So I'll just put there and I'll remember not to touch it. The right one will just be using this number instead. So right would be minus equals and then that. Uh, the Z is the same, right, as the other one, so it's, it's this it's this one. So, now that we know that, drag it in, Windows, Graph Editor, don't touch X, Y. So, so we'll make sure our left one actually did follow. Make sure our right one's following now. <laughs> okay. Then we'll do the same with our tag weapon. So drag it in. And again, this is the right one. So it's our new shit here. There we go. Don't need that. And drag this in. And it's our good old offsets. Now it should be following. Okay, delete. Save. So just to check. Yep, if we play this in a loop, which I forgot exactly how to do that. Yeah, whatever, okay. So, that's, uh, <clears throat> it's just, that was pretty simple. It's just we needed to find new offsets. So, once again, save, delete unneeded joints. Uh, clean namespaces and then export our joints right here. 
uh, here, print loop. Yep. Okay. And our last one will be uh, spring out. And this one should be interesting because it also has the tag torso moving back to its original place. So, um, we'll have to do what we did before. But if you're a fan of these uh, perfectly ported Modern Warfare Kimbos like me, you gotta love these guns though. And they really, even though uh, Infinity Ward is always annoying, like with how they do their shit, gotta admit, they still manage it to make it look great. So I think the work's worth it to have it in uh, Black Ops 3, or in my case, I, I, I'm a Black Ops 1 modder currently, so that's where mine are right now, but I've still touched Black Ops 3 in the past, and I will in the future. So this is why I know this tutorial. So again, save here. Uh, and then you're going to probably need to reopen it. So to make sure you're keeping up, so there's 14 anim scenes. And we're about to make the 14th scene. I'm just to make sure you're doing the right amount. Uh, So yeah, we'll go to this right side and just start doing it, I guess. Save. So, frame four. Make sure it follows. Then do tag weapon. So frame five on tag weapon. Just that before I forget. Okay, so then yep, they follow. So delete. And then this should be already there in its original place. So yeah. 
budget layer needs graph editoring. Editoring needs graph editoring. Okay. Uh, so left shoulder right here. Okay, so that's all the animations. Uh, everything is under one tag torso here. Very interesting. Looks right. And then there's a save. Delete our joints. Clean namespaces, select hierarchy, uh, export selected. And that's literally all of our animations. So you can go ahead and don't save this. Time to, oh yeah, we don't, we also have this open. Time to start doing stuff with the conversion rig. So, hey guys, so I had to go somewhere for a little bit, but I'm back, so I'm going to finish up this tutorial. Um, so we're going to start doing the conversion rig stuff with our animations here. Now, this is going to be just like, you know, porting a normal dual wield gun, since these are in normal dual wield form now. But most of you probably don't know how to do that. So I'll, I'll still walk you through it. So you're going to get your conversion rig out. Because er, this is the new one that's like one, almost 100% perfect. Made by Kali, I think it is. Uh, I don't know where the link will be in the description if you don't have it. Uh, so just open it. And so in here, we have our XNM exports folder. We're going to go ahead and make a new folder called Anim Scenes Conversion Rig. And these will be, you know, where I'll save all these animations. So let's go file save scenes. Uh, called animation base action rig and then drag two of these on so drag it on and drag it on again go ahead and delete these perspectives here then move all these namespaces on one of them this will be our right model. Go to T7 joints, open it up, and drag it under tag left and right. And set the translate to zero. And then you can delete the group. And then in here, remove all these namespaces. And then add a one to them. And drag it under tag left and left. Set its translate to zero. 
Okay, so now I should have tag left and left with J gun and tag left and right with er, J gun and J gun one here. So this, this is right. Uh, then, in the, when you download this conversion ring, it'll tell you how to set the shelf up. So just go ahead and press T7. It should give an error. So because Maya likes to break this function every first time you use it, so just press it again and. All these T7 should join up or show up uh, on all the new joints. And then, yeah, just go ahead and save here. Now we can import in the CM. So go to C, Tools, Import. Then let's just do Fire Left. So you'll, you'll see animated the left arm and gun, but not, you know, this arm and this gun. So in first person. Looks like that. Now, I want this open to check how many frames. So it looks like it got these frames right. Sometimes it doesn't do that. So I'll go ahead and file save as. I'll call it fire left. And then uh, press this button. T7X, it removes all these namespaces. And so we need to rename all these joints in the Black Ops 3 form. So, first of all, it's, it's no longer J gun, it's tag weapon. And then the 1 is no longer a 1, they replace that with it, something that looks nicer and LE. So now we have to go through each of the joints and take the 1 out and add an LE like that. So now, uh, to export just only the left side, we don't want this whole thing. We're gonna select uh, so, so here the left shoulder and the left weapon, which we just changed here, and then tag cam mode. Select hierarchy and then select tag torso above it afterwards. So it should look like this. So everything with the right shoulder and right gun. And then do you export x -anim? Set it to the 5 frames. x exports. And I like to call them by like the way BO3 does it. So VM, P90, dual wield, LH, fire. And yes. And then that's one animation done. So I'll do it again. Or fire right. And so five frames looks good. It's working right. So, uh, file save scene as fire right. Press the that X button to remove these extra namespace and shit. And then here, since these joints aren't, you know, especially named with the left or anything after it, don't even touch them. You just, you know, remember like normal J gun goes to tag weapon. And then, to export just the right side, we do tag weapon right, J shoulder right, tag cam mode, select hierarchy, and then tag torso after it. And then export XAM, five frames. Uh, XAM exports. This, we'll call it 
So I'll just keep repeating this for all the animation. So import anims, and here's a full anim, so wow, that's a nice order of demonstration. So you see, hold on, I'll say if he has uh Damson's first phrase. She looks much neater now that we don't have these excess arms. It works nice. Uh, first is, yeah, only 34. Good. I like how the fingers are nice and most, most likely aligned correctly. It may not be perfect, but it looks pretty good. Again, next to G7 out. And then we have to fix both of these, so change it to tag weapon left. And then move all the ones with an LE. And change this to tag weapon. Should look like this tag weapon, tag weapon only. And then once you've done that, um, exporting is just like a normal gun tag torso, tag hand mode, so a tire key. And then all 34 frames. Uh, next item exports. VM P90 dual wield first rate. I know. So here's an, a bug with the items. It only created two frames. When really there's, uh, how many? Yeah, 200. So if you were to like open these joints, so tire key, you see there's these frames keyed down here. So it's kind of important that you have those all. Uh, but yeah, just remember to make sure that then we'll save it. Idle left. Exit D7. Fix up the left side. And weapon left, shoulder left, cam bone, so a tire key, then tag torso after it. Export all 200 frames. Then tan idle.
And so yeah, there's, again, there's 200 frames. Uh, let's just see. Yep, stuff down there. Okay. XT7. Chain gun to tag weapon. Right, right, cam bone. I like how, just how much neater the pull-out animation and stuff, it all looks after there's not those excess arms. <clears throat> it looks neater, because, yeah, just, uh, pull-out, yeah, 25 frames. So, exit out. And I have to fix both sides again. Look at the LE, jiggle LE, J or front ring LE, J reload button LE, tag brass LE, tag clip LE, tag flash LE, tag iron side LE, tag. Weapon. Then fire key or X item. Yep, 23 frames, that's right. So yeah, this does get repetitive, just bear with me, I'm almost done. Yeah. <sighs>
Everything is great. Always like to check my animation. So X here joins it up. So this has no tracks. And I'll show you in a second how I do this. select all our left joints so now when you go to export right set it to 109 and then do where is it uh left here here then you, you need no tracks so tnms don't load no tracks into there scene and uh cnms they do but you know it wouldn't be in this scene it would be in the old scenes so you're gonna have to copy them in so if you did cnms go to your old scenes and just copy them into here if you did tnms this is what i do so i use the new lemon that has uh, direct x cnms here and so i don't know if that's i'll, I'll have a link for it but any of your direct xanims go to like the game then do p90 uh and then get tom's xanim tool looks like this uh and i'll have this a link for this too select you know all these animations Yeah, so just to make sure I haven't missed any notes. And then you can see for each one the amount of notes here. So it looks like there's just these. So yeah, then you can just put it like to the side here. And it looks like these are the same. So sometimes that's not always the case. So make, make sure you're aware of that. And then, so in Black Ops 3, or Black Ops 1 and 2, 3, or 1 came up with this system where you add an S and D and T and then a hashtag, and then you can put the sound alias name. And 2 uses it too. Now Black Ops 3 has the advanced note track thing in the, the ape, you know, where you can set up the note tracks there. But... You can still do it this old way, and I like doing it because it's faster and easier. So you do S N D N T, and then a hashtag. The thing is, hashtags don't work in Maya, so you're gonna have to. I'll show you how to add them later, and then type the name of the sound alias name you'd be using. So we can just use this as a sound alias name, and then here you set the frames as zero. So S N D N T web. P90 clip out player. That's it. 35. Now these view model small are the rumble notes. And uh, Black Ops 3 has them, but they're called different. So you put RMBNT for a rumble note. And they they call it reload small instead of view model small. So that's um, 36. And S N D N T web P ninety clip in player. Uh, it's at fifty one. R M D N T reload small. That's at fifty eight.
Then once you've added all your notes, export. I Now you should be able to go into your XM exports here. Go to the one you just made and scroll all the way down. Uh, it's not all the way down, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Never mind. And then a little bit up, you'll see all your notes here. Then you can add a hashtag here. So just go through each one, adding the hashtag, and it should look like this. So we'll import our empty right. XRT seven out. Ah, uh, look, it didn't finish the frames. And then add all our notes. So it's easier if you just copy this. Same thing as last time. All the way down. Go up a bit. Here you can also check for spelling and stuff. So everything looks good. Also have the same um, notes where I just clicked down up here. Uh, we'll see if he has. Uh,
Experience. So I think rumble notes are for your controller. They're rumbles. I'm not really too sure. But, you know, it's good because a lot of people do play with controllers. So you'll feel the vibrations when you reload it. Uh, just like in the original game, if you copy these rumbles and write. I'd have to, I'll, I'll go test it too later, get my controller, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know why it misses the last frame, but look, if there's 92, there's 93. And now it ends in the same place that it did. So. So now I don't think we need this anymore because there's no more no animations with notes. Uh, so the last thing we have are sprint in, which ten frames. This is one of the ones where you have to like key each frame with the right arm. So it's amazing 
because it's nice that it was that all nice and clean for doing that. But um yeah. It's, it's, I don't know. Okay, so same shit. Oh, yeah, I don't know. God damn it. I didn't call it the right thing. <sighs> and last animation. So these animation timers over here are going to be useful. We'll use them for stat timers. Uh, what did I say? Stat state timers later in the weapon file.
last animation right there. So now we have all our animals here. Go ahead and fix it up for now. Uh, so that's all 14, yeah. So the last thing we need. Uh, so Infinity Ward, since they have um, what's it called? Since Infinity Ward uses Tag ADS as a base joint, they don't uh, have to make ADS animations for dual wields because they uh, what's it called? It's already at zero, so it just when it resets to zero zero zero, it's you know doesn't move. Well, since we use Tag Torso as a base joint here in the Treyarch world, we have to make ADS animations that hold it there. It's really easy to make them. Um, but yeah, they're needed otherwise. Tag Torso resets to zero, and the guns get pushed way forward and up, and it looks really retarded. So I know some people don't understand why you need ADS animations when it doesn't ADS. Well, this is why, because they they define the position for um, tag tag torso. So so the easiest way to do this is open our Black Ops One pair of view hands we used earlier in the tutorial. Here we're just going to set the timeline back to zero, go to frame zero, open it up, press S on tag torso, and then select tag view and tag torso like you would do a normal um, ADS animation that you're porting, and go to your folder, cinema exports, we'll call it VMP90 dual ADS up. And then do about 10 frames, because that's usually how they do it. And then don't save it. And then do it again for down. And don't save this. And so here's all our animations, our ADS and everything. And finally, make our anim models. So open a pair of Black Ops 3 hands, which these I'll have in the link to if you don't want to get them yourself. Here they are, drag this on twice. This is tag weapon. And this is tag weapon LE. Let's add an LE to one of these. The other one that you need to have open. Here's our right and our left. So open up, left, under, left. Like that. And right, under, right. And you'll see with the new rig, the base position and the tag weapons are, you know, over here. And then select all the joints, select a mesh, and then do, oops, no, export, X model. And just put it in here, call it like, uh, shit, it's P90, uh, do a little anim model. 
don't need to save. So here's our anima animated model and all our XANIM exports. So I'll be back in a while once I've set up uh, Asset Property Editor. I haven't touch it, touched it in a while, so I don't know what it looks, mine looks like anymore. But I will do the models on my own, and I'll, I'll tell you what I did to make the left-hand model. But there's some changes that I do to my models that I don't really want you to see because it might confuse some people. So I'll wait till another tutorial to tell you what I like to do to my models. So, uh, yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and I've situated my uh, ape. I haven't touched it in so long, so I'm surprised I still have my GDT. But, yeah, I went ahead and made the models. So, the view and world are just normal as you think. You know, you port them, and the world model might need to reposition it, which I did. Uh, so here's a list of joints. Don't forget to change, you know, Jangan and Tang weapon in the, in the view one. And to make the dual wield view and world here, all you do is literally just add an underscore LE to all the joints and you're done. Like, it's the exact same thing, except with an LE to all the end of the joint names. So, uh... Same with world, so that's that's all you do. It's pretty simple, straightforward. So now we're just going to. So I went ahead and made my anim model bin. Here's all these ex model bins. Uh, the images here, and then the ex anim export. I put in my ex anim bins here. So what we're gonna do is do new new uh. I set the new XM and then just get one of these names. That's okay. Uh, don't have used bones collected or collect, selected and then set this to relative. I think that's it. Just make sure you're looking up. But yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Don't, don't ask. So then in our item file, we'll select base down, and here we'll select our item model, and then do, go through them like this. So that's going to be up. Get looping for idle.
print loop means it is looping to and now we'll make it not looping there. So now that's all the animations it should be. Uh, if you look in our reloads, yeah, here's all, the, our, all our notes. So you would use these as a sound alias names. I'm not going to be doing sounds in this video because that's like you can find that in other tutorials. And also, just so make sure you have all the total frames you think you should. So, yep. Ah, fuck. And now that that all looks right, we have to create weapon files. Yay! Uh, that's probably the most annoying thing. So, hold on. So, I have some shit up here. So, let's see. Let's do new asset. A bullet weapon, right? And I'll call it like P90 dual wield Z, like that. It's gonna put it all the way down here. To, there's some reference whether I had it in one or two. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and open up. Is there a place? Oh, yeah. Actually, no, these didn't work, I don't think. So I'm just finding some that I can use as a reference. There's some stuff I for probably forgot, so I'll just have these open here. The left hand. And then here I'll have. Okay, okay so making these. Uh, so we'll call it P90 Akimbo. P90 Akimbo. I don't think you need anything. Uh, player item type obviously has to be a wield. The wield weapon name. Put in P90 and then left hand. So here you don't need to put, you used to have to put ZM, but now the engine actually automatically adds ZM to all of the places it references a uh, file or a weapon file. And so it's kind of interesting how it does that. So, make sure I'm not leaving anything out. So, here you would uh, let's see. Check the dual wheel, the ammo options. Display. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, let's pop P90 Akimbo. The clip name is P90 to wield. Uh, yes. Clip size will put 50. And then max ammo will do like times 5. 250 start ammo. I'll just use this damage since I have no idea what the PID 
images and I'm not going for exact right this moment. I'm just doing a tutorial. I'm going to save it right here. Blur damage, I don't know what that means. Ooh, look at that Animation damage, just going to leave it. State timers, now here's the fun part. So you want to get rid of intro fire and the fire delay. Uh, what fire things funny to me? In fact, these are going to be the right times, I think. So, fire and then last shot. Hold fire doesn't matter. There's fire delay now. Uh, so, here, we would be using the stuff in here. So, so like reload time. What is it? 93 by 30, 3.1. Empty time is something else. Obviously, 109 here. 3.633. Reload add. Uh, I do when that clip in notice of so fifty two one point seven three three reload quick is for dual back and start and start and empty at time. Drop and raise literally don't need to be touched. In fact, those are the common times they use. First raise is 34 divided by 30. 1.133. None of this. Sprint in, I use your common times, so this is like how they just normally. Use, we don't have any crawl animations. So make sure you don't have any sprint movement settings. Rotary, writing, dive to prone, player slide. Oh, and then here, really important that you don't keep these stand moves. So I have some settings here. So set all these to zero, and then that to two. These are the common settings they use in their weapon files. I don't know why they're not default, but it's what they use in pretty much everything. So, crouch moves. Again, you don't, you don't want these. Zero, negative, two, negative, one, zero, two, negative, one, negative, one, eight. And then pro moves, we'll use some big offsets since we don't have crawl animations. Oops. Yes. 
so item settings will leave area settings uh, hip spread yeah you can make these all perfect if you want but i'm not going to right now sway so reticle settings you need to actually add the reticle for it to work so like and this inside reticle and then do side settings eight and then your gun is gonna be weapon IW4 view and then I think you have to specify the view gun tag for it to work right. So you put in view gun tag, tag up and right. And the world gun would be IW4. Oh uh, yeah, world right here. Yes, yeah, so I don't have any high tags or attached clips, so I'll move on past this. Uh, and now for anims. So, idle, we're gonna, it's the right one, so EMP90, so we will write in idle. And you can just copy this. Fire intro, no, fire. So right hand fire. Uh, last shot is right hand fire. You know, hold fire. Then reload is right hand reload. Reload empty is uh, right hand reload empty. No, 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 no. Raise is pull out. Drop is smoke. First raise is first raise. Uh, yeah, I think we do need to enter these. Really? Uh, no, probably not. Let me just make sure. I'm, I don't think you have to. It's required that you have to enter these. No, it's not. Yeah, so just get rid of these. Quick raise, yes. Quick drop. Empty raise. Empty drop. Then spin in. Loop. Out. Uh, there you go, crawls. You don't need to put ADS fire or any of this, just make sure you do ADS up, ADS down. And then you could put additive box, but <coughs> actually uh, you can do like VM, AP9, walk, F, and VM, AP9. Jump. And then there's your VM P9. Uh, you have some slides, leaps. Okay, fuck all that. So we're doing the effects. Don't forget your view of the world flashes. I'm not doing sounds now, so I'll just stick with our empty no sounds. 
Okay, that should be it, really. Yep. There's our right hand file. Now we do new thing and then do a uh, dual wield weapon. Where is it? Dual wield weapon. And then call it. Uh, yeah, P90 left hand. So whatever you put here and then plus ZO. And these are the same thing. Kimbo. Oops, hold on. This will be P90 to wield. So whatever this is, minus the ZM. Inventory is the world left hand. Type is bullet. Class SMG. So P90 to wield. Not exactly what to do this. Yeah, so you just put no ammo in it. It's different than Black Ops. They they load um their uh dual guns differently. Like here you can actually have a different damage, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is eight, uh, eighteen hundred. This is nineteen. Weird wolf. Okay. And then for here, I don't think, yeah, we don't need this, just copy. Uh, hold on. So oh, we can just copy these for the other one. Let's go down to our state server. Fire time. I'm no fire delay. Start. Uh, no. Really didn't touch any of this. Uh, this will be our left hand model. So, the world view. And then, same thing here, we have to put or specify our tag. And then, W4, the world, the world. Oh, look, there are high tags. I was just saying that because I know there's no attachment models, but apparently there's high tag. And then do VM. No. 
MP90 Derailed. Last idle. Last idle. Last fire. Last fire. Hold. Reload. Reload empty. Pull out. Put away. Trees. Pull out. Put away. Well, relay, maintained, that loop, and out, I know, it's not moving us down, And so that should be it. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. And uh, I'll see y'all when I get in game just to make sure it works. You know, y'all don't have to watch me compile or anything. Uh, if I had any problems, I'll let y'all know. Uh, but for now, that is it. So peace out until I see you in game. Okay, so I'm here in game. And luckily. These did not have any errors the first time around. So yeah, here's all the animations. Oh, that was a nice big spike there. But yeah, uh, I'm super surprised that I didn't get any errors on the... I don't know, just usually when I make shit in Black Ops 3, it's kind of hard. But yeah, you can see all the animations. Here's my sprints, my idols. You can see the view bob, you know, the walk animations work, uh, the jump, land, and then there's, you can go fall off of over here. And so that works because we use tag torso and, and then ADS animations. So if you export it any other way, it won't exactly work. And then there's my left one firing. My right one firing, it's both of them reloading, and fire the right one, reload it, fire the left one, reload it, and then you can show the reload empty animations. So I don't know why this sprint animation looks kind of choppy right there. Figure that out later. But other than that, this is this was a uh, how to port Modern Warfare Kimbo's to Black Ops 3. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned. And if you have any questions, just comment, and I will try to answer them and 